Pope Francis, blood of Buka victims cries out to heaven for anti-Ukraine war. Pope Francis condemned the horrific cruelties against unarmed women and children in Buka, Ukraine on Wednesday, saying that the blood of innocent civilians cries out to heaven for an end to the atrocities of war. Recent news about the war in Ukraine, instead of bringing relief and hope, attests to new atrocities, such as the Buka massacre. Increasingly horrific cruelties carried out even against unarmed civilians, women and children, Pope Francis said at the end of his general audience on April 6. They are victims whose innocent blood cries out to heaven and implores an end to this war. Let us silence the weapons, let us stop sowing death and destruction. The Pope held up a blue and yellow flag which he said was brought to him from the martyred city of Buka. Ukraine at the end of his general audience on Wednesday morning. Pope Francis then invited Ukrainian refugee children to join him up on the stage in the Vatican's Paul VI Hall. Explaining to the audience that these children had to flee the war, the Pope said, This is one of the fruits of war. Let's not forget and let's not forget the people of Ukraine. It's hard to be uprooted from your homeland because of the war, the Pope added. The Ukrainian children gave the Pope some drawings that they had made and the Pope gave them some large chocolate Easter eggs. Ukraine's foreign minister accused Russian forces on April 3 of conducting a deliberate massacre of civilians in Buka, a city northwest of the capital Kiev. News organizations reported that at least 20 bodies dressed in civilian clothing were found in a single street when Ukrainian forces retook the city following the withdrawal of Russian combatants. Buka massacre was deliberate. Russians aim to eliminate as many Ukrainians as they can, Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleva wrote on his Twitter account, alongside photographs of dead bodies. Buka massacre was deliberate. Russians aim to eliminate as many Ukrainians as they can, Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleva wrote on his Twitter account, alongside photographs of dead bodies. The Pope also had a special message for Polish pilgrims expressing gratitude for their extraordinary welcome of the more than 2.4 million Ukrainian refugees who have fled to Poland since the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine on February 24. During this time of Lent, which prepares us for the celebration of the Lord's Resurrection, you have shown an extraordinary and exemplary generosity towards our Ukrainian brothers, for whom you have opened the hearts and doors of your homes, Pope Francis said. May the Lord bless your homeland for this solidarity of yours and show you his face.